All right, guys, today's video is a short introduction to Windows 10. So we're going to start things off easy. I got some programs open below, but that won't affect anything. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start uh, start off with Cortana. Um, if this video is not for you, don't complain. Don't do any of that. Just move on from it. So Cortana. Cortana is your search assistant. She is built into Windows. As you can see, she gets to know you. She offers up all your information, what's on your calendar, um, some things that you like to see. Halifax Public Gardens, known for quiet flowers. That is true. I love uh, the public gardens, by the way. Great place to walk if you guys ever come to Halifax. Um, or Cecil the Lion. I've said that in two videos now. I don't think I've released that one, but yeah. Smitty's is a great place to eat, by the way. Uh, I've not eaten at these two places, but mm, I might. Also, you can ask things with Cortana. Hey, Cortana, did you know that I'm in love with you? Really? I love you, Cortana. Thanks. Ditto. Do you know you're the best assistant in the world? Ah! Oh, they need to program that one to her. Play the movie game. Can you guess the movie I've got in mind? Clue number one. What movie do you think of when you hear this list? A bad case of insomnia, a support group, a bar basement, and a gunpoint epiphany. Fight Club. Very nice work, Chief. You correctly guessed Fight Club in one turn. Do you want to try another one? Not right now, Cortana, but thank you. Alright, so the next thing we need to do. This is your start screen. Well, most of you probably have a start menu, but you can arrange this any way that you want. It is yours to do as you wish. Hold down and move around. Plain and simple. A lot easier than using a start menu. And that needs to go over there. So on here you'll find all your useful stuff like your browser, your weather, you even have your calendar, your mail, your photos, your office apps from your phone companion. Um, Cortana has her own little spot here for news. You got your notes your store, your money, uh, your finances in other words, your Xbox app, your music, your movies. Basically this is your main screen. This thing has everything. Um, also it has access to all your programs and files, your documents, your downloads, your music, your pictures, your videos, your personal folder, file explorer, settings, power, and all of your apps. So yeah, it's literally all in one. Now Getting to settings is pretty easy. As you can see, it's right there. You can also pin your settings so it never goes away. Close that out. Open back up and you're good to go. In the settings, you'll find all your account, your, your account information, your personal information uh, for your personalization, your, net, uh, your network and internet. So that's Wi-Fi, airplane mode, VPN your devices like your Bluetooth, your printer, your mouse, um, also your system display, notification, apps, power, and more, your time, language, that's speech, region, date as well, uh, your ease of access, this is for people with disabilities, so also people that can't see very well, that need high contrast, uh, this is your privacy, your location, your camera, and this is for updating your Windows, recovery, and backup. So we're going to start here. This is where you're going to find Windows Update. In here, there's going to be many options. You're going to want to select this one, and you're possibly going to want to select this one as well, uh, just depending on how you are. That is for insiders. This will get you newer builds of Windows. Also, um, this allows you to seed updates to people. Turn that off. Oh, did a new option just appear? No, it did not. Oh my. 
So this is your Windows Defender. You can turn this off and on. It really just depends. I suggest installing Avast and Malware Bytes. Together they are literally an unstoppable force. Um, this is for creating backups. So you add a drive and you know you basically back up your entire file history to that drive. This is for recovery. You can reset your PC uh, back to stock standards in case anything goes wrong. This also allows you to do a clean install without a USB. This is for advanced startup. This allows you to change boot options and things like that. Uh, this is your activation window. And this is for developers. Enable if you want to. I always enable it. Now, this is basically your general settings. So turn that off. No need for that either. Uh, this is for your location. It's best that you do have your location on for Cortana at least. And that as well. And Windows Camera. So this allows your apps to use your camera. You know, let apps use the microphone. Turning that off. This is for speech. Stop getting to know me. You can press that if you want. But Cortana gets to know your voice and she just becomes accustomed to you. This is um, where you let your apps access your name and pictures and stuff. Turn that on because with that they're able to personalize. And that's always good. So this is where you can choose which apps use your contacts. Keep that on. Calendar. Messaging. Radios other devices, um, feedback and diagnostics, I'm going to put that to never, um, background tasks, so background apps, at the moment I really don't want any of this to run in the background so I'm pretty thankful I found this, yeah that can run, this that's not a lot of run. That is a lot of run, yes. So that would be your privacy settings. This is your ease of access. So you got your narrator, your magnifier, your high contrast, closed caption, keyboard, mouse, and other options. Inside other options is play animations and windows and show windows backgrounds. You got your cursor thickness and things like that. So this is all pretty straightforward. This is your date and time, your region and language, and your speech. As for your accounts, no, I am not a freaking transformer. Um, I am a ground texture. Uh, you can create your picture with a camera, add a Microsoft account, add a work or school account, manage your account with billing and all that. I am the administrator. Ooh -ha. These are your sign in options. So you can choose a pin, a picture password, and a few other things. This is for your work assets. So you can connect your school or your work. This is for your family members. You can add a family member and other things like that. This is for syncing your settings. So, passwords, all of this is pretty much for um, Windows settings and Microsoft Edge. So that was accounts. Personalization, this allows you to change your background, uh, the colors of the taskbar and the windows. This allows you to change your lock screen picture. I want that one for now, I guess. Also allows you to choose the apps which you want to show up. So right now there's mail, calendar, and time. But you can add weather, store, people, and Xbox. Also, screen timeout settings and screen saver settings are also in here. Um, this allows you to change your theme, your desktop icons, just the, the old type of stuff that you used to be able to change in Windows. And in here allows you to show your most used apps, um, change the start menu if you want, choose what folders appear uh, right here, just simple things like that. So we just went over that, that, and now for your network. Pretty straightforward. Data usage gives you an overview. You can also adjust your storage settings. 
Um, this will allow you to save things on other drives like your documents, your pictures, your music, and your videos. So there's that stuff right there. And it just coldly kicked me out even though I wasn't completely done. This is for setting up a VPN. Uh, also the related settings show below. This is to setting up dial-up. This is for managing your connections currently with Ethernet. And this is for setting up a proxy. So that's done. Now, as I said before, this is for your printers, your scanners, your other stuff like that, okay? So you can add a printer and scanner from here. Connected devices such as all of these right here. Driver is unavailable. See, it shows you if you have a driver or not. Um, this is for your Bluetooth. I do have a Bluetooth connected in mouse and touchpad change primary buttons to left and right multiple lines at a time you know just additional stuff um, this is for turning off autocorrect and this is basically just for autoplay so this is for changing your display um, for changing the resolution you will need to hit advanced settings Next is Notification and Action Center. Whatever you change here will show up here. Um, it shows you tips, things like that. Hide notifications. Show that. And you can just turn that off. I really don't want any of it to show up. This is for your apps and features. It also shows you um, how much stuff is installed. And for the love of God, Minecraft got big. RuneScape got big. <laughs> wow. That's pretty cool. Um, next, this is for your virtual desktop, your snapping. Basically, this feature. Tablet mode allows you to enable tablet mode if you're on a tablet, which means you're basically locked to the start screen uh, and no desktop. Pretty useful sometimes. This is for your power and sleep. You know, set it to whatever you want. I always have it set to never. Storage, we've already been there. Offline maps, you're allowed to download maps and store them on a tablet in case you're going places. So you're always going to find out where you are. It's a very, very helpful, useful feature. And of course, your default apps. So I'm changing my web browser back to Microsoft Edge because Firefox is a piece of shit. I just swore I apologize. I didn't mean to. Um, and here is for renaming your PC, joining it made, joining an Azul ad, you know, just certain things like this, you know, BitLocker, device manager, system info. And that's everything to do with the settings. Now, this, this is your multitasking window. This allows you to change things to certain desktops. Like, I have three desktops, okay? In other words, I have three windows. And I have screens on all windows, so I'm allowed to easily manage, add new desktops on each one of them, and it can be completely organized. It's incredible. Um, it's a great feature that they took from OS X and improved upon it loads. So, did I miss anything? Let's go over this. Nope. Didn't really miss anything. I went over it all. That's great. Um, also, if you want to, these days you're actually able to just right click and pin to start. So, there's Dark Souls 2. Worst game in history. And I can also take this and pin this to my start menu. Actually, this is quick access. This allows you to have all your stuff right in front of you real quick. Forgot about that. But also, you can right-click on any folder you want and pin to start, which will then, of course, add your folder there. So that's going there because that's where I keep most of my textures and stuff. So there's another quick tip to go through. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Um, share this with people who want to know how to use Windows 10. 
very useful, incredible operating system. And the last little tip that I'm going to show you, boom, quick access to almost anything. This is beautiful. You can access it by dividing the Windows key and X at the same time or right clicking. This is an administrator's dream. Thanks for watching. Have a